everyone and welcome. Um, this is our uh, wonderful annual breakfast of Thanksgiving and we give so much thanks for all of you joining us here this morning. Uh, please join me in thanking the McAllen ISD Faculty String Ensemble. Uh, they performed earlier and they're made up of Brian Miller, Jennifer Miller, Robbie Hanlon, Tom Hudson, and Jesus Tovar for the beautiful music this morning. And now please stand as Jackson Elementary students Jaden Johnson offers a prayer of thanksgiving and then remain standing as Nevea Puentes leads us in the pledge. Bless us, O Lord, in our service to one another, in our community, and bless us in these your gifts which we are about to receive from your goodness. Through your holy name, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now we invite you to enjoy a special presentation from the Jackson 60th Anniversary Choir. It's always best to start the morning with a choir of angels. We'll hear from them uh, again later this morning. Thank you. Uh, and then I'm going to have uh, Mark May assist me in a second. Good morning. We'd like to welcome some special guests. Uh, if you could please help me uh, welcome them. Uh, from our school board, we have the vice president, Mr. Marco Suarez. School Board Secretary, Mr. Sam Salivada, Jr. And Trustee, Debbie Crane Alicera. Uh, Trustee, Mr. Conrado Overado. Trustee, Mr. Larry Esparza. 
and Trustee Mr. Tony Purina. Also from our McAllen Education Foundation, Mr. Stephen Wingert. From our McAllen Education Foundation Advisory Members, Mr. Kirk Clark. Also, Ms. Gina Millen. And Ms. Veronica Vela Whitaker. And Ms. Whitaker leads us into our, our next batch from the city of McAllen. She's, of course, here also representing us as a city commissioner. And we also have city commissioner, Mr. Javier Villalobos. Our police chief, Mr. Victor Rodriguez. And of course, our mayor, the Honorable Jim Darling. And from the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, the president, Mr. Steve Alenius. And the president of the McAllen Economic Development Corporation, Mr. Keith Patridge. And I've missed, if I've missed anyone, I, I apologize for that, but we sincerely appreciate you being here today. And now, everyone, would you please welcome our superintendent of schools for McAllen ISD, Dr. Jay Gonzalez. Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to see all of you here early this morning. We appreciate you all very much. We hope that you're enjoying your breakfast. I'll have a short message for you all later in the program, but at this point, I do want to welcome our Vice President, Mr. Marcos Suarez. Good morning. I can't think of a better way to start November 1st than, than to be gathered here in the room because we have a lot to be thankful for. Um, I look around this room and, and as I got here this morning and I was shaking hands and, and this is the heartbeat of our city and it's because of you that we're here today and it's on behalf of the school board and the administration that we're here giving thanks to people who give to our community and that's, that's very important. Um, we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a community that gathers together and comes together for the good of the kids. We have a city who accepts that the heartbeat is a school district. We have people who have chosen being educators as their profession. And we all come together as one, as McGowan ISD and as the city of McGowan. But most importantly, we have people out in our community and business people out there that not only give their time and their money, but give their love to our children. So for that I say, thank you very much. An example of this is a recent TRE election that was passed. 76% of our community came together and, know, and came together to support the school district, our superintendent, and our teachers. As we see now there are improvements on the way, we invite you to take a look at our website so you can see details of what's happening and what's going to happen. I think we also agree that there's a, a lot of amazing people that are in our classrooms today. And there's no better way to demonstrate this than to show a small video of some kids speaking what teachers mean to them. Sure, her name is Ms. Chavez. I had her for um, phlebotomy in EKG. It's part of a CTE course that we take at Bro. Um, she was, was really motivating and she would always push us to do our best, especially when we would go shadow doctors at the hospital. She would always tell us, like, you have to like ask questions, be involved. You know, if that's what you want to pursue, just follow it. The teacher that helped me out the most was Mr. Longoria, my fourth grade teacher. Um, when I was younger, I was really, really rebellious, and he led the path for me to be where I'm at right now because he was so on me and trying to motivate me to become a best uh, student and athlete because he knew how I wanted to become a runner, and he says, if you want to become a runner, you got to pass your grades. And he helped me out with my math, my writing especially, 
um, history and science. And ever since then, I've been working hard. And he would come and meet me sometimes and ask how am I doing. And if I tell him I'm struggling, he motivates me again. And that's how I am right now. Well, Mr. Hope, I had him for my freshman and my sophomore year for math. Um, I feel like he's such a motivating teacher. He came from very low backgrounds as well. and. He's a Harvard graduate and he really motivates us. He's the type of teacher to not give extra credit and he always says that you should believe in yourself and not like rely on those extra points and it really boosts our confidence when we see what we can do without like all that extra credit and like in my second year he even challenged us to like not use calculators like he was like I believe in you guys I know you can use your brains and like not need that device. As we continue with this program, we invite you to tell us a little bit about a teacher who had an impact in your life, or an educator who has had an impact in your child's life. Um, there's a certain educator that works for our district, and she's a principal now, and she was my kindergarten teacher. And so I would not invite her to ask what she has done to me, because I'm scared to, to see what her res response would be. But I have friends and classmates here, so y'all be the judge of what Macallan ISD has done. Um, these cameras will be set up, so after this, this event is over, we invite you to please give some feedback. I think our teachers would love to hear from you. Um, once again, I tell you that I, give a, I have a lot to be thankful for, and, and we do too. To live in a community that gathers together, that's united as one, is, is really priceless. And in this month of November, I can't think again of a better way to have started this, this month with giving thanks to some very important people. Thank you very much. How about another round of applause for our Vice President, Mr. Michael Scott. So thank you very much for all you do as our Vice President. Also, another round of applause for our Board of Trustees for all of their hard work. Our board spends countless hours away from their families, many, many hours, looking at how we can be the best district that, that we can be in. And they hold us to a very high standard, and we appreciate them very much. And we appreciate their families because we know when they're with us that they're away from their families. And, and for that, we say thank you. Thank you very much to all of our board for doing an amazing job as a team. They all bring something special to the table, as does everybody in this room. As I scan across the room, there are some key community members, key business leaders, and all of you make a difference in what we do for children. As an educator, I say thank you. As a father, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. In this district, I have a pre-K student, a kindergarten student, and a first grade student. So I have a unique perspective. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here right now. <laughs> I have a unique perspective to know that when we drop our children off every morning, we know that they're going to be loved and nurtured and guided and educated just as if they were the children of the people in the building. And that's such a great feeling. You can't put a price tag on that. And I know the same is true for all 22,000 other students and all the parents in this community that trust us with their most precious gifts from God. So we say thank you. We've got a lot of great things going on in McAllen ISD right now. A lot of great things happening, a lot of great results happening because of a lot of hard work. And I look across and I see some key individuals that help create that environment on our campuses. That's our building principles. Building principles, please stand and be recognized for all of your hard work and everything that you do. This is definitely the, the heartbeat of, of what we do, our leadership, and I can say that we can put our principles up against any other principles anywhere in the world, and we would compete at a very high level. These individuals, we talk about giving of their time, they give of their time, they put their heart and soul into it, they execute a game plan that's very specific, they execute a game plan that takes a lot of hard work, they inspire their teachers and their students to follow through with that game plan, and because of that we produce great results, but it's not easy. So I do want to say, principal, you don't hear it enough, but we appreciate you all, we love you all, and we know that what you do is not easy. It's, it's one of the hardest jobs on the planet to be a building principal. It requires so much of you because every morning, 
parents are dropping off their most precious gifts from God with you and trusting you with them and hoping that you do the very best, not only to educate them, but to love them and nurture them. And I say, and McAllen, we do a phenomenal job. Such a good job that McAllen ISD, we earned an A as a school district. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for that. We earned an A. And that A right there is, is something that we're so proud of because it was so hard to come by. It was so hard to work as a team. It's a team sport. To earn that A is a team sport, and it took everybody in this building. It took every leader, it took every teacher, it took every student, every parent, every community member, every business owner, everybody in this room played some part in that A. Everybody in this room played some part in that A. And we're very proud of it. 92.3, we didn't just barely got an A, we got a solid A because of some hard work, and we're on a path to continue that. I know that there was some discussion on whether people agreed with the accountability system or people didn't agree with the accountability system, whether it was fair, whether it was too difficult, and we didn't spend one ounce of energy worrying about that. We looked at what the expectation was, we looked at what the standard was, we came together as a team, and then we executed a game plan with fidelity that put us in a position to score that A. On top of that, on top of that, we also earned a post-secondary readiness distinction. That's a district distinction that's very hard to come by. We've earned it for the last two years in a row. And what's so special about this distinction is that it takes the academic performance, it takes the A, but it takes a lot of other variables into account. It takes graduation rate into account, it takes dropout rate into account, SAT and ACT performance, career technology education pathways. It takes so many variables into account that you have to score at a very high level on to earn the post-secondary readiness distinction, and McAllen ISD earned that distinction. Rob applause for the very Yeah, that was a big one. Then we earned the Financial Integrity Rating System of Texas honor. And that is very difficult to come by because now that's on the financial side. You talk about the, the challenges of public education. You talk about the challenges we have with limited funding. You talk about the challenges of everything that we do in our arena with a limited amount of resources. And McAllen ISD does it very, very well. We have one of the best money teams in the country. I'd say one of the best financial teams in the world with regard to being able to run lean with regard to look at, looking at quality, looking at academic return on investment for every program that we have, ensuring that everything that we're doing is in the best interest of children from a financial standpoint. We earned the Financial Integrity Rating System of Texas perfect score. Cindy, where's Cindy? Is it for the last seven years in a row, Cindy? For the last seven years in a row, Ms. Cindy Richards, Chief Financial Officer over there, seven years in a row. That's amazing. And here's another thing that took me, it took me some time to wrap my mind around. But if you, look at, if you look at the state of Texas, giant state, there's over 1,000 school districts in the state of Texas. If you look at school districts with over 20,000 students, if you look at school districts with enrollments of over 20,000 students, McAllen ISD is one of them. If you look at that, and then you look at post-secondary readiness, the A, and the first, there's only four school districts in this entire state that earned all three of those honors, and McAllen ISD is one of them. How about that? How about that? It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. A scene from Goodwill Hunting just ran through my mind. I was like, how do you like them apples? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It, it's amazing work. And sometimes we're moving so fast and we have such a solid game plan and produce, we're producing at such a high level that we lose sight of how well we're actually performing. We lose sight of that. Not only that, but we lose sight of how our program and our results have been sustainable over time and will continue to be sustainable over time because of individuals like you in this room. Because of individuals in McAllen, Texas, I can tell you one thing. I've been in McAllen for 21 years. 21 years with McAllen ISD. I grew up in a small ranching town, tight-knit, ranching, country strong, Hebronville, Texas. If you don't know where it is, if you go Laredo the back way, that's a little town you pass by. Right? If you deer hunt, you know where Hebronville is. But one of the things that I learned was when I came to McAllen, it's the same thing. Competitive people in McAllen, Texas. 
Never say die spirit in McAllen, Texas. Family oriented in McAllen, Texas. Grit, grind, resiliency, all of that, I thought, this is, this is just a bigger version of a small town with great people. And I felt like part of a family in this city ever since I moved in. I felt part of this district like, like a family. All 21 years have been a blessing. It's just a magical, phenomenal place to be. So when McAllen, Texas joins forces with McAllen ISD, we start to produce things like, like this. And we're looking at our benchmarks right now. We're looking at our results right now. We're looking at our performance right now. And we're on that same trajectory. We fine-tuned our systems. We've upped the ante. We've asked principals to do a little bit more. And they're doing it. And more than that, our teachers are embracing it. Our teachers are embracing it. We have school districts from all over wanting to visit. Just a couple of weeks ago, Laredo ISD was here. We have a school out of Louisiana that's coming in. We have a school out of Mississippi that's coming in. We have school districts from throughout the valley that are coming in. We even have Jim Hall County coming in. That's Hebronville. That's probably my proudest right there. <laughs> but all I, what I'm feeling right now, I can just put it into one word, and that's gratitude. Gratitude for the opportunity to serve this school district as superintendent of schools. Gratitude for the opportunity. Gratitude to be a parent with three young children in this system. Gratitude to have friendships with you all. Gratitude for this room being full so early in the morning after Halloween, because I know you all were up trick-or-treating and doing all those things. It's just... Just, just pure gratitude right now. And I think that if we all look through life, look at life through that lens, then, then things will, will, will be a lot easier on us all because I know that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to perform at very high levels. So in the end, I want to say thank you all very much. I want to say that uh, let's, let's continue. Let's, go, let, let's get more people in this room. Let, let's get more partners because we can't do it alone. You all can't do it alone, but together we can create this environment. And at this point, we have a video. Where's Norma? Video? Let's play a video. You better have great teachers. You better have a committed staff. You better be ready to rock and roll if it's not going to come easy. Today, we found out it's official. We got an A. Yeah! Woo! We got an A. Only 13% of school districts in the state have earned an A with the state of Texas. Achievements of this magnitude come about because of the excellence of our teachers. They are fundamental to student success, particularly when our instructional team digs deep to support the teachers with constant data analysis that is incessant in finding that just right way to reach a child. Together, they work relentlessly, driven to ensure that students are continually making gains in learning. It's an attention to detail that is well above the norm. The A designation has attracted the attention of educators around the state, with other districts visiting our classrooms to study our methods for success. And I want the radio to win because when y'all win, kids win, and our state wins. And judging from McAllen ISD's large array of wins in the last year alone, there is a treasure trove for others to analyze in this district of champions. As a district of choice, McAllen ISD provides students with a world-class education built on two frameworks for learning, STEAM Plus and the International Baccalaureate. STEAM Plus delivers the state curriculum, but then goes beyond this standard to infuse STEAM-related learning into the classroom, all while systematically addressing a child's emotional intelligence. If you're not familiar with Daniel Goleman's work on emotional intelligence, it's as true as the law of gravity. If you want your organization to compete at the highest level, then you have to raise the emotional quotient of the entire organization from the student body to the superintendent and everybody in between. International Baccalaureate, an advanced academic program, is offered at our elementary, middle, and high school levels.
I cannot wait to see what the world has holding for us on the other side of those doors. Since 2003, McAllen ISD students have earned nearly 700 IB diplomas, consistently bringing in the highest success rate in the world at 98% until we soared above even that standard this past summer to earn a 100% success rate in June. McAllen ISD students compete in chess, robotics, and academic UIL, all from elementary through high school, garnering amazing titles along the way. That includes both the State Robotics Championship and the State Chess Championship. Achieve early high school plays first at the state level in Houston. All while creating an army of little chess and robotics gurus around the district who have been taking the state and the nation by storm. <laughs> There's class number one complete. McAllen ISD is known for continually raising the bar. In the spring of 2018, students designed and constructed their own robots for the inaugural Tech Wars competition, and new champions were born. Nikki Rowe takes the tournament. Three, two, one. A new era has begun for our National Blue Ribbon Achieve Early College High School this year. They now have their own building to call home. Here, students earn college credit and even an associate's degree by the time they graduate high school, saving them time and money. Over its 10-year history, Achieve students have earned nearly 500 associate's degrees through our partnership with South Texas College. The district also offers five specialized dual enrollment academies where students can focus on medicine, engineering, computer science, criminal justice, or business administration. The traditional high schools also present opportunities to take advanced courses and earn college credit through dual enrollment programs. These opportunities save McAllen ISD families millions of dollars in tuition each year. All students can graduate with expertise in a specialized area or endorsement. McAllen ISD offers all five endorsements recognized by the state. Many students get rigorous and relevant career preparation through the Career Technical Education Program. Here, students can earn professional licenses and certificates in 32 different areas that meet the needs of the labor market. This fall, McAllen ISD launched an apprenticeship program where students will work in a place of business. This is a partnership with both the McAllen Chamber of Commerce and South Texas College. McAllen ISD has forged many partnerships that benefit children. Since its inception, the McAllen Education Foundation has funded more than 360 teaching grants for more than half a million dollars and benefit more than 50,000 students. Throughout the year, students earn scholarships all over the nation. In each of the last three years, McAllen ISD graduates have qualified for more than $35 million in scholarship monies. Aside from academic UIL, robotics, and chess, our schools have developed specialties that give our students yet another edge. At our eight dual language campuses, students are taught in English and Spanish equally, making them biliterate, able to speak, read, and write in two languages. Students are now able to continue with dual language in middle school and even earn a high school Spanish credit before their freshman year. We're the service managers here at Costco at Sam Houston. At our six Minitropolis schools, students learn real-life skills relating to leadership, unique career-based learning opportunities, and personal finance. It is established at six campuses. And for four years, McAllen ISD has used a distinctive program that systematically teaches career awareness in all our elementary schools. This is unique. McAllen ISD is one of the few districts in the state that can say it has a seamless kinder through 12th grade career awareness platform. To take it a step further, our schools are accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, far exceeding the standards of quality followed by other districts. McAllen ISD is a family with a rich heritage rooted in a tradition of high standards, where we honor our past, celebrate our present, and step boldly toward the future. From humble beginnings more than a century ago, to a plethora of life-changing, cutting-edge experiences, all guided by expert hands that nurture and lead. In McAllen ISD, students find new worlds to explore and new frontiers to conquer because here, your child is family. We are, we are very proud of all of those accomplishments and all of those programs, and, and none of that would be possible without all the people in this room. 
So thank you all so much for giving back to McAllen of your time and resources. We appreciate that. Also, another special thank you to our board of trustees. We have a phenomenal board. All of them bring something special to the table. So as a team of eight, we come together and we do great things. And, and a lot of it you saw, that's just a fraction of the things we're doing. But I can tell you that, that our board is committed to what's best for children. And, and our board is top notch. So one more round of applause for our board of trustees. And to all the business leaders, once again, from the bottom of our heart, thank you very much. We know that, that uh, it's not easy to do what you do and run the organizations that you run, and then to go the extra mile for us, it means the world to us. I'm, I'm looking across, I see Dairy Queen represented, uh, tremendous partnership we have with uh, Dairy Queen at DQ Fan Field at McAllen, McAllen Veterans Memorial Stadium. That, that's been a big hit for us, so, so we're proud to join families like that as well, so thank you. And with that, I will pass the mic back over to Mark. Thank you all very much. Have a blessed day. And now we're going to welcome back the Jackson Elementary 60th Anniversary Choir for a final selection. And these little tykes will be dancing to the traditional Mexican folk song, Los Machetes. job by the Jackson 60th Anniversary Choir. Glad they're not using real machetes. And um, we also want a special thank you to their instructor, Miss Norma Munoz-Guerra. 
And thank you again. How about another big thank you for our Jackson Choir. And in closing, thank you again for all you do. Thank you for being here and for being an incredible support for our teachers in our community. 